The video ends if I avoid any question. Twitch chat can redeem a text-to-speech reward to ask me any question they would like. <laughs> Either the video will end because I simply can't answer the question, or the video will end when I finish the first world of Cuphead, one of the hardest games of all time. Just ask his address and let's end it. See, that was the that was the stipulation, right? We can't ask things that I obviously cannot answer. Like, I can't answer a question that's just gonna immediately get me swatted. But if you're like, Johnny, when's the last time it fart? Then that makes perfect sense. Hello, young man. Three gold coins. I'm gonna go and just do the first boss right off rip. Out of all your Twitch friends, who would you not want to collab with Kappa? That's tough. <laughs> Definitely scootish because he's just too sexy sometimes. It makes me feel bad about myself. If I don't do this first try, then I'm actually washed. Ah! Did they buff him? Was there a hot fix? Why is he taking so long to kill? This should be it. There we go. First boss is down. Oh, Johnny boy. No. Why do you sit down to pee? Why do you sit down to pee? Who said that I sit down to pee? How would you know that? But realistically, sometimes you just need to. Why do you want to stand all the time? I'll stand to pee depending on what time of day it is, right? If it's nighttime and I'm tired, then obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a sit. I've had a long day. Messy sits down to pee. That's exactly why I do it. I sit down to piss because Messi sits down to piss. Goopy Le Grand. <laughs> I'm kind of built like Goopy Le Grand. Also, you have cooties? I do not have cooties. How dare you levy that against me? This guy's a joke. What a nerd. This guy sucks. Come on, Goopy Le Grand. More like Poopy Le Grand. Look at that. I'm slip. Oh. Dude, that was so easy. We're so easy clap, dude. What was the worst thing or the most uncomfortable situation that happened to you during a stream? I was in a collaborative improv event. I have never done improv in my life. I enter the chat room and there's like maybe 600 people watching the stream, which is a lot more than what's ever watched one of my streams. And I had to debate something against another streamer without knowing what my stance was. And I had to explain why porn was good. And I was so nervous that I literally had an anxiety attack in front of 700 people. <laughs> I don't remember a single second of what I said. I do remember saying something about like, you gotta blow the load to like keep your prostate healthy. I remember saying that at one point. But yeah, to this day, sometimes I think about it and I get anxious. It was so embarrassing. But the Twitch chat seemed like they enjoyed my segment, so. The age-old question, ass or tits? Uh, personality with a lot of zeros in the bank account. <laughs> Actually, no, ass or tits, definitely uh, able to love and cherish me. Okay, we're gonna keep pairing so that we can keep using the little machina things. Oh, there we go. Snuck in the super on round two. We're performing right now, chat. The love and care that went into this video game, it sucks that that is out of the norm, right? Okay, With a medium like video games. Drywall tastes better, Home Depot's drywall, all those drywall. <laughs> Definitely Home Depot's drywall. Home Depot just has like a certain kind of zest to it, you know what I mean? Yes! Ah, we're, dude, we are absolutely hacked into the mainframe. Wait, should I move my camera? Is my camera in the way? All right, now we just took a hot, steamy poo on Hildeberg. We move on to the next one. There's a little coin in here, I think. How do I get there? Let me in. This one might give me some trouble. This boss absolutely sucks, but dude is definitely serving it up with whatever that dance move is. I'm gonna pull that out in the club for sure. What was the craziest thing you ever done to get a girl to go out with you? What is the craziest? Okay. Oh, I thought that was pink! Son of a bitch! I don't- okay. Well, let me take this a different direction. Let's do what was the craziest thing I've done to get a girl's attention, maybe? I've never done anything to, like, get someone to date me, but maybe, like, to get some attention from somebody. Uh... Oh, dude, this was a terrible, terrible idea on Johnny Bebop's behalf. I was talking to this woman and it was around October time and she mentioned the spooky basket. I don't know if you guys remember spooky baskets. Uh, back in the day, you would spend like $100 on a basket and fill it full of all kinds of Halloween goodies. And people were eating that shit up on social media. It was like, oh, where's my spooky basket? Where's my king to get my spooky basket? And this girl mentioned it. So I thought that meant, hey, Johnny, get me a spooky basket and I'll, I'll love you forever. So I spent $200 on a spooky basket and I gave it to her and she goes, oh, and never talk to me again. <laughs> she has not talked to me since that day. 
and I was so embarrassed and my wallet was so hurt. That was actually the same year that I started my Twitch stream. So maybe I started my Twitch stream off the trauma of that situation. That woman is also married with children now. That shit was embarrassing. Ow, f I need to pay attention. Wow. How did I dodge that? There's no shot. Oh, I'm, a, I'm such a gamer. There we go, get the parry. Parry the platypus. Yes! That's the hardest boss on the first island, easily. We're moving so quick. What question would you dread answering the most? Probably... But do you have any regrets when it comes what to is your, your body count? Life? Do you have any regrets when it comes to your streaming life? I absolutely do. I've told this story a lot, but I originally made myself, I got partnered over 100 viewers, which isn't a lot in the grand scheme, but it's still very, very good on the platform. And I did it because I was playing specific games. But then I realized that that's, there's a ceiling to that and I can't grow. So I started making content about me like I do now, but then my viewership cut in half and I stopped. However, if I would have kept going from that point on, it would have been two years later and I guarantee we would be in a different position right now if I didn't stop. Pretty much the moral of the story is, if you enjoy something and you see a future doing it, don't waste your time not doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't have regrets. What question would you dread answering the most was definitely like, what is my social security number? <laughs> that would be kind of dreadful. That wouldn't be great. This is actually a very difficult level. So I probably should have reset after I lost a couple of what lives. What do you do as a job aside from content creation? No photography, graphic design, or anything online slash on the internet. Well, chat, little known fact about Johnny Bebop is I've been a certified personal trainer for a decade. So if I couldn't do anything on the internet, I would probably just train people. I have a passion for fitness and like helping people become their best selves, so I'd be pretty fulfilled through that. If not, probably a male stripper. Would you train me then? Absolutely. Shoot me two hundred dollars, I'll make you a workout plan. Get back together with any of your exes and start over fresh. Would you do it? No. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. The way I see it, dude, things happen for a reason and I would not be on the path that I am currently if I stayed in the situations that I was subject to. I'm sure right after something like that happened, like after a breakup or something, my answer would have been different. But as of right now, I'm thankful that I haven't gone back to any of those situations. And I think you should be as well, chat. We did it, bravo! You guys are gonna need to ramp it up. Give me some crazy fucking questions. What would you do as a job aside from content creation? No photography. Didn't they just ask that? Design or anything online slash fitness related. Oh, <laughs> he added the stipulation in there. Dude, male stripper. If not, I'd like to get into modeling, but I know that's not like a good career path for a lot of people. There's a lot of like exploitation and like really terrible things that happen in that industry. But it feels like it would be fun. From the outsider perspective, it's like, yo, I just go spread my badussie and they pay me. Like that's kind of fire. Or dude, probably baseball. I was a really good baseball player when I was younger and a couple of my buddies like made it to the majors and shit like that. What It'd be super dope to be a major league baseball player. Creation. No photography. Graphic design okay. or anything online slash fitness related. Yeah, we asked this already. Or stripper slash male model oh. <laughs> Officially nothing I'm good at. Oh my god, she just squirted on me. And I just took in their essence. Okay, let me think about this for a second. <laughs> OnlyFans creator, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go the opposite direction. I feel like I would really enjoy being like a counselor or a life coach. Like I could sit down and like help people figure their lives out. That would be super dope. It would require me having my life figured out first though, which is a very lofty prerequisite. <laughs> Professional drywall eater. If there's a market for a drywall eater, I'm in. Love kissing boys. Wait, hold on. Did I miss the beginning of that conversation? Catching up with one piece and kissing boys. That's the one two punch. That's what peanut butter and jelly, baby. You Question. Penis model or cock inspector? <laughs> now we're getting into the hard stuff, dude. Literally and figuratively. Penis model or cock inspector? Are you asking if I'd rather have my junk seen by the thousands of people in the market for that? Or would I rather be the person who inspects the wieners who go into that position? I'd probably be a penis model because eventually you'd get so good at having your wee wee out, nothing would phase you. Embarrassment and shame would just not exist in your life. I feel like that'd be great. That guy was an absolute bozo. Maybe I'll watch the remastered One Piece. <laughs> the right question is John. Cancelable slander to solve world hunger. 
Would you say cancelable slander to solve world hunger? Yeah, I would. Why not, dude? I mean, it would ruin it would ruin my life to save the lives of millions. I guess I would be the white knight who gets canceled if it means that I can put food in the belly of other humans. <laughs> I guess I'll shoulder that burden of saying the wrong thing. Let's get a second weapon. Maybe the roundabouts? What's your body count? You literally asked for this questions. <laughs> Whoever redeemed the cat could not have redeemed that at a better time. Well, uh, is it getting hot in here? Is it, uh, is it getting hot in here or just me? Uh, 20. You can literally lie. 500. Yes, I have so much sex. Me as the aspiring full-time Twitch streamer, I have a lot of it. <laughs> Why does the coin machine pucker its lips before throwing it at me? It'll make me act up. Have you taken anyone's V card? If so, how big is your collection? MHM. This would be a tough question. Oh wait, this hold on, I gotta focus. Damn it! Uh no, actually. No, I haven't. <laughs> so I made that question real easy. No, I have not. You really think I could do that when I'm playing Cuphead at such a lightning fast pace? Those things are not mutually exclusive. Or they are mutually exclusive. I actually don't know what that term means. I just be saying it sometimes. What is your dream creator collab? It is definitely... Well, I guess there's a couple. The first one I think of is Moist Critical. I think me and Charlie would make the sickest content of all time. I genuinely think so. Very similar verbiage, very similar ver joke schemes between the two of us. And I could just bring up the energy, you know what I mean? That's my favorite YouTuber, if you guys didn't know. My favorite content creator is definitely Moist Critical. What's your all-time favorite memory from your high school days? That memory that makes you want to go back to that day. Oh. I, dude, when you talk about high school memories, First off, I went to a private school. Very cringe. Shouldn't the question be how big is your wiener? I'm surprised no one's asked that yet. So something that brings me back to my high school days. So there was this one time, we had a science teacher. He was our biology teacher, actually. So he went on vacation. Now this guy had a ton of different animals. I'm talking gerbils, hamsters, all the fish you could think of. And so he left us in charge of all of these animals for a week. And in that week, somebody was filling the fish tank and we went on about class with our substitute teacher. A couple minutes go by, I hear some rustling in the back of the room. I'm toward the middle of the pack in the middle of the room from the whiteboard. I'm an anxious tapper, right? I like to tap my feet when I when I get anxious. All of a sudden, I heard splashing and I looked down and there is an inch of water covering the entire classroom. So they left the 10 gallon fucking water pump running for over an hour, flooded the classroom and killed all of the hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> it, got, it got in the drawers of the classroom and he had a bunch of fossils and it ruined all of his fossils. Dude was devastated. So yeah, it doesn't make me really want to go back to the day, but that's probably one of the funniest memories I have of high school. That shit was crazy. Wait, Chad, I just fucking won. I just knocked that shit out in 25 minutes. Since I'm feeling so generous and so confident in my abilities, how about we go and tell Inkwell Isle 2? Except this is the one that has Grim Matchstick. Oh, shit. Shit. This island gives me so much trouble because of one boss in particular, but we're not gonna go there until it's the last boss that I have to go to. What games do you hate playing, but you do it for stream? Damn! Right now, there's no games that I particularly hate. However, I can answer that very confidently with Jackbox. Jackbox was the worst thing that ever happened to me as a streamer. <laughs> Says a streamer who's on the development team for Jackbox. Whoops. Cool, it was funny the first time, but what happens is one of you just writes cum, and then you think it's super funny, and then all that happens is you just write cum for six hours straight. Terrible, dude. Or Among Us, because I just willingly got stream sniped for eight hours a day. But it was good for channel growth, so I did it anyway. Oh my god. No! The stupid jelly bean comes running out! The stupid jelly bean, I swear. I'm gonna take his little sword and I'm gonna shove it down his throat. Among Us was nothing but anxiety. What's the biggest lie you've ever told someone straight to their face? MHM. Ah. Uh... Johnny, what's your highest mewing streak? <laughs> My highest mewing streak is probably like the last three months. I'm an absolute look maxer, Chad. This is what I do. One thing about Johnny Bebop is he mews. The biggest lie I've ever told to somebody. I love you. The <laughs>
<laughs> Tough. <laughs> Johnny was in some terrible relationships that he had to comply with. I'd be lying in like almost every job interview, but like who doesn't do that? What's the worst thing you had to do on the job? The worst thing I had to do on the job? I can tell you the worst thing that happened to me. I work at a restaurant and there was this one lady, probably aged 60 plus, but definitely still trying to keep it young and keep it hip. She looks at me. I was working behind the bar that day, which is a great, a great honor. She looks at me. Well, she doesn't even look at me because I'm turned around like making some juices. And this lady has the gall to just blurt out in front of the nine other people that are sitting at this bar. Okay, can you just choke me with that tattooed muscle arm? That was verbatim what that lady said to me. And very seldom does Johnny Bebop not know what to say in a situation because all I do is talk. That's like my career path at this point. I didn't know what the hell to say to that woman. Can I kill this head? Or do I just, does it just have to follow me the entire time I'm here? Crush? Mine is Janago Pipo Love. Who's your celebrity crush? Um, I don't know. I had SZA. <laughs> Bro's like, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. You know. Definitely SZA. It used to be Billie Eilish. Then we got out of the Billie phase and we went into the SZA phase. What's the one and only best immaculate game you have ever played? Halo 3. That is the game that I went semi-pro in as, as a youngster. I played Halo 3 for three to eight hours every single day. From the time I was seven years old until I was 19 years old. 12 years I played that game daily. Outside of that, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, Earthbound, love Earthbound. Undertale's great. Do you still have it on you? The Halo grind. I would fuck up anybody in, in Halo that I know of. That's not a Halo player. Like if it's a professional Halo player, they will stomp me. But if it's just like a normal FPS Chad, they are definitely getting absolutely stomped. Also Destiny. Destiny gets a lot of shit thrown at it, but it is so such a fantastic game. It gets a lot of shit thrown at it because it's such a good game. <laughs> that tantrum was me when she doesn't send soapy titty pics. My entire day is ruined. Was Mario Galaxy is peak. Story real or did you make it up? How many guys were actually there? <laughs> The Five Guys story is unfortunately real, and for anyone that doesn't know what they're referring to, it's a Johnny Bebop classic that I have to tell once every couple months. One of my favorite restaurants of all time is Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Long and short of it, they have some of the best burgers you'll ever taste in your life. It's an American thing. One day, I took a trip to a Five Guys Burgers and Fries with one of my buddies, one of my roommates, and we showed up just kind of looking bummy because we're just getting a burger. We don't need to like reinvent the wheel with our outfits. Now, as we were enjoying our meal, we noticed that people were kind of looking looking at us funny. And my buddy's kind of a confrontational guy, so he was getting a little bit upset. And the people that were looking at us were the workers. The workers were staring at us in a line. They were all lined up behind the counter watching us eat. And it was kind of upsetting us. But then after about 15 or so minutes of somebody staring at us while we eat, someone walks up to us real slow and they ask me, sir, are you wearing any boxers today? To which I replied, yes. But before I could get that out, they said, oh my God, because I saw you walk to the pop machine and that thing was thanging side to side like chill bro We got kids in here. Everybody cover your children's eyes They were yelling that to a full restaurant And then they asked me if I like men or women because they want to know who to give my number to Simultaneously the most embarrassing and also the greatest day of my life as a man. I guess I was leaving it hang I don't know what they were talking about if it gets cold outside the thing looks like a stack of buttons <laughs> Good question Scoot to the other side of the screen, you wiener. There we go. This is the one, chat. This is easily the, there we go. We're moving and we're grooving. 41 minutes in, we're halfway through Inkwell Isle 2. You guys are gonna have to ask some freakier questions, my friends. Dial in, baby! Is Taylor Swift is just a chick, too. We in chat you thought was super weird, but had to be nice to any ways. What is the name of the... <laughs> oh, dude, I have an immediate answer for this. Their name was Rebecca. I'm saying the name Rebecca probably just brought shivers down the spines of my moderators. And that was because they just said things that made me uncomfortable, and we would ban them because because they would talk about shit you're not supposed to talk about, but they would just make new accounts. And one time they infiltrated the stream as a different user. They stole their username after they changed it, pretended to be someone else so that they could watch my streams. But then we noticed some patterns in their behavior and we found them eventually. I had a viewer perform a heist just to watch my streams. We had somebody who like threatened to like get law enforcement involved and shit on our stream because they donated a lot of money and then like I didn't favor them over everybody else. So then they were like calling the cops in my local town. 
<laughs> to get me arrested. It was freaking crazy. Keep in mind, I'm like a 10 viewer Andy Twitch streamer and this stuff happens to me. I could not even imagine what, he, what big streamers go through. So be nice to your big streamers, dude. They did give me $800 though. Lil Uzi could put out a whole hour of fart sounds and I would still listen. That's how I feel with the band Neutral Milk Hotel. They could just release an entire album of cats meowing and I'd be like, this is the most transformative music ever. This makes me feel things. All right, Bippy the Clown. <laughs> Bippy the Clown is how I feel in most of my relationship interactions. Nice, nice, okay. Oh, that's tough. Woo, good work, Johnny. What's the most nasty, grotesque, sexy thing you want to do, Hug. <laughs> that I want to do or I have done? That I want to do is not very interesting. I don't really have any sort of like crazy deviancy to me. Might have, might have dabbled in, in, you know, kissing, kissing the chocolate starfish. We might have tried that. Why are there penguins? Are they throwing, they're throwing baseballs at me. Ah, fuck, I got hit by a train. That had to be close though. We were super close. Yeah, no chat, that's how I got cooties. Actually, no, dabbling in the butt was how I got the suds. <laughs> I got the suds that way. Maybe I do need the roundabout. Maybe that's the move. Because what then while the I'm dodging all of these. You've ever had. <laughs> Dude, there was there was one dream where I like woke up. I was in one of one of those houses that have like a certain adult entertainment as the purpose. But it was just me, like I was the only dude. <laughs> There was just a lot going on. It was just Johnny Bebop fending for himself against an army. It's a lot going on in that dream. A lot of anxiety, really. Weirdest place you've nutted. <laughs> Great question. In a Dollar Tree parking lot. <laughs> I will not elaborate further. There we go. We get the parry for the extra. Fuck, I need to stop jumping when the yellow one comes out. So it should be green guy. Wait, can I just stand underneath him? I could just stand underneath him! Oh my gosh, come on. Balls or penis, which is better? Honestly, definitely the balls, dude. They sustain life. What's the strangest thing you stick up your butt? <laughs> Probably preparation H. Back in the day in high school, I like wouldn't breathe when I squatted in the gym. And that just, that just tore me up from the inside, dude. Or no, I take that back. I had a colonoscopy one time. That was pretty strange. Imagine putting a webcam up there. I just Twitch streamed my bowels one time. That's just insane to me. Oh, we did it! Yes! Yes! Eat that, Blippy! Chat, we're an hour in. I'm getting a little anxious. Your questions are heating up. And we have one boss between us and victory. And that is Grim Matchstick. In my opinion, the second hardest boss in the game, which takes me hours to beat every single time I do it. So now's the time to pour them on, chat. Let's hear what you got. Is cheesecake a cake or a pie? It's a cake. That's, That's why it's called cheesecake. You don't want us to ask. Johnny, are you going to stick with content creation this time? <laughs> Food is good for four plays. What food is good for foreplay? I mean, chocolate's an aphrodisiac, right? Grapefruit, right? The whole grapefruit technique. Cut a hole in that baby and you're off to the races. Imagine we do this first try and I'm an absolute gamer. Turn on the epic music, baby. Most embarrassing thing that's happened to me while streaming. One time I had just the gnarliest dick print while I was live and someone made a clip of it. The clip has since deleted, but like my shorts were like, oh, damn it. My shorts were like really bunched up and it was just all meat. And there was like, there was a clip of it, dude. Would you in my DMs? Facts. The first ones that come to mind are anime. The big three of anime are not good. Um, Marvel movies are trash. I hate Marvel movies. One Piece is too much. I'll watch the seasonal one when it comes out though. And hopefully it's good. They fix the pacing and everything. I mean, there's a reason the manga's loved so much, right? It's gotta be good. There we go, lobber shot. Going into the final phase with full health feels really good. The issue being though, oh shit. The issue being that we didn't have a super to start this round. I ducked under that, suck me. I couldn't even see that one because my microphone was in the way. The avoidance, what, what did I avoid? Current Roman Empire? Does that mean what do I think about all the time? Can we talk about that? Are there actually dudes that just always think of the Roman Empire? But for me, the thing that I currently think about the most is definitely Berserk. I've been reading the Berserk manga like crazy. Woo! 
very slick movements on Johnny's behest. Oh, I thought I thought I was gonna hit that duck. What annoys you more than it should? Dude, I have a lot of those answers. I get really annoyed when someone slaps me on the back. Like it just irrationally pisses me off. I still have not been able to figure it out to this day. When people are late, it really makes me mad. I get like actually fired up about it. I get super annoyed when people act like I'm dumb. Like if I do something wrong or like I have a question about something, but they say it in like a mean tone like I should know anyway. Like earlier when I was playing chess and you guys are like, oh my God, H5, D4, knight takes queen, the cum gambit. I was like, guys, could you please shut the hell up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. Huge Would super moment. Hands for feet or feet for hands? No, no, no. Would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Probably hands for feet because they kind of like have a, a similar anatomical structure. And then I get to keep my thumbs on my actual hands. I feel like I'd rather train up. The DSM test on stream win. I feel like I'd rather train up my, uh, my feet hands than never have the ability to grab things ever again. BDSM test on stream when? I've actually already done that. <laughs> I've done the BDSM test and the rice purity test on stream before. But I guess maybe soon? I don't know. I've done both of them. I do some crazy things on stream, dude. I can't stand just doing average shit. It's annoying. Or like stuff that everybody else would do. <laughs> You know, 50 shades of bebop. <laughs> it's just me, but I'm in a dungeon and all I do is play Mario 64. I do nothing but watch Jujutsu Kaisen fan edits. It's not a very good movie. <laughs> Did not do well in the box office, unfortunately. Totally just caught an L on that lobber shot. We don't talk about it. So chat, we're just gonna try and knock this guy out with the lobber and hold on to enough so we can start phase three with the super. We just gotta be diligent so that we keep our HP max. There we go. HP is max. We're gonna immediately let the super fly. Let it fly. <laughs> no, that's not even, that's not even fair. If you're wondering what the problem is, it's when you shoot the fireballs, they go in all four cardinal directions and it screws me up every time. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, grim match stick, more like grim match this. This this schlong on your on your head, right, chat? What large streamer have you? All right, guys, we. <laughs> I no, damn it, dude! I just beat the final boss, but do, does that count? Do I win? Oh, screw off! I won. No way.